Hey, it's Chuck Karstensen, Karstensen team at REMAX Results with another Minnesota real estate market update as it relates to the coronavirus. And this time we're talking about why a recession doesn't mean a price drop for the Minnesota real estate market. And I've got three key points. First of all, three of the last five recessions, prices on homes have actually went up. One of the times they just went down year over year 2%, which obviously isn't a whole lot and probably not noticeable. And then we, of course, had the big dip in 2008, 9, and so on, where prices did go way down. Which brings me to point number two. This time, the economy is not like 2008 and 2009. Because see, back then, a lot of people had um, adjustable rate mortgages, 80, 20, zero equity mortgages, interest-only payments, all kind of not good lending products that... Really, I don't want to say aren't out there, but very few people have. In fact, 37% of people, just United States in general, own their home free and clear. Another 17% of people have at least 50% of equity. And then there's a still good percentage of people who have a solid amount of equity. Because even if you bought your house five years ago at a zero down loan, you've gained a lot of equity over time. So we have equity in homes, so there's less likely for people to jump ship and, and just let their homes go back if there was a longer term slowdown. So that's point number two. And then point number three is real estate was super strong going into this situation. It was set to spike up even more this spring. Instead, it's leveling off. We're getting a sl slowdown in showings, but because it was super strong going into it, and this you know, bump in the road here will mean other people will get back into the market. It won't be a long slowdown and just go back to point number one, where most of the time in a recession, house prices even went up. And back to point number two, where we have better loans, that makes point number three, that we're going into this pretty strong, that there won't be much of a drop off. There's just a lack of inventory yet. So uh, the supply and demand will stay pretty balanced throughout this because less people will list for a little bit, even if less people are buying. So coming out of it, there'll be a pretty even or even slightly elevated demand for homes coming out of it, keeping the prices pretty strong if you're a seller wondering about prices and if you're a buyer wondering about holding off. The reason to move forward is those things I just stated. Again, Chuck Carstensen, Carstensen Team Remax Results. If you have questions specific to your situation, please reach out to us. Thanks a lot.